Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching us how to edit a WordPress website. How to build a WordPress page using WP Bakery Page Builder. And as, as you can see, I'm currently running a free WP Bakery Page Builder. For you to be able to do this, you need to visit the official website and they will allow you to run a test. So here we are and I'm just going to try to build a page with it. So first and first, add a new page. So let us call it own. So click on publish. Now click on back in the data. So you are given three options. You can either add elements, add text block, or add templates. Now what we're going to do is to add a template. Now go to template library. Click on access library. Now scroll around to see uh, the templates you need you want to use so uh, okay So click on this download button so it will download the template. So this is the thing. So once you have downloaded the template. Now go back. So this is the template right here. So just click on this add templates and the templates will be added to your page. So there we are. Now let us preview the changes. So you can see it is installed and we can now edit the template. So now for you to edit the template, click on the pen icon as we usually do. And you can see we have a text block settings under it we have general and design options this is a button let us click on it so it's a purchase now button and there is a url link Then the style, the shape, the color, and so on. So, and um, here, you, here you can see that, which is now. And the text block right here. So, let's try and edit some things to, to see how it really looks like. So...
So if you want to add a URL link, let's just add WordPress.com link test. Experts. So if you want to, if you want it to open in a new tab, you can specify that. So once you have done that, uh, set the link. So you can see the link has been set. So left align, right alignment center. How big do you want it to be? So that's the option H1, H2, and so on. Now, font size, line height, text color. Let's choose, uh, let's choose this. Let's choose yellow. So you can also click yes. Now, if you want to anim animate, just come here and um, mm -hmm. let's say this. So you can see that this little button right here. So click on save changes. Now, let us update it. not changing why is that let's update it once again and let's preview the change okay yeah so that's it so that's pretty much how you can design your website using elementor I'm using WordPress Bakery Page Builder. So that's all the options. Now let's try to build a section from scratch using available elements. So to do that, click the plus. Now, what what we had? Let's try to hard post slider. So we wanna add a post slider. Click on save changes. Uh, so it will be sliding your post. Now, if you feel like you want to add an element beside this particular post slider, just click here and slash it into two. You can slash it into four. You can see the effect. So, once you have done that, let's try to add image gallery. So this is where you select uh,
so let's say that's enough click on open and it will upload all the images you have selected all right this is not allowing us to use these images so what we're gonna do is to try to Let's try to select just two and see if it will allow us. Okay, it's not allowing us again. So I think it must be because I'm using the their free mode. So so now if you want to drag this section just can see this one and if you want to add another color just do this and um, let's try to experiment with another element okay so This is a Vimeo link. It came with the element. So let's try to insert our own link. So Now, let us insert the link. But the YouTube may be small than we expect. So let, let's try to drag it here. Oh, yeah. Add a column first, then drag it. So let us preview the changes and um, <clears throat> we can see the effect at the bottom of the page. So you can see the YouTube link and um, this is the post carousel. Now let's try to So let us make this as it was before. To see the full effect of what we have been doing. So you can preview the changes as we did the other time. So you can see this post came with this website. So any post you have in your website, it will turn into a, 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 slide, a sliding post. And um, 
suppose we were able to add images to the slider it would have been sliding as well and there is the, <coughs> the youtube link we inserted so that is how you design a web a, a wordpress website using wp page builder so for you to know this for that much you need to experiment with many elements as you can i will be able to experiment with uh, with all the elements so that's pretty much everything about what building a website or perspective big builder and um, don't forget there is always things that you can learn more that will boost your expertise so thank you guys i will see you in the next video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below thanks